Welcome back, everybody, and thank you very much for being patient with me. <laughs> it's touch screen. You were... What's that? It's touch screen. I like touched it and it focused. <laughs> <laughs> the luxuries of. Get a film camera out. <laughs> the film Bring camera. the film back. <laughs> when people say film is hard. Now it's about time that I got back into photography. So get back into photography if you've not done it for a while. And tonight I'm up here on Fatipu Beach with four other photographers. The five of us are here to explore this beautiful part of West Auckland or the West Beaches in the North Island. They're iron black sand, so they're magnetic to camera bands. It all sticks to the bags when you lay your bag down. So you've got to watch your equipment because it will ruin your stuff. One of the reasons for trying to get everybody here together is A, to have a good time and re-familiarise re ourselves or myself with photography again. But also tying back into the big video I did a little while ago about visualise your shot. That taking five shooters into one location and see how we all interpret that scene differently. So this will be quite interesting. Um, I saw people scuttle off uh, in different directions before so we're not all huddled in one corner off the beach, which is really cool to see. My temptation is shoot big panos as I normally do, but because I'm starting again, I've got to start the foundation blocks from the bottom. And I think shooting uh, from scratch again, I've got to start building up my confidence with this camera here. I've actually forgotten how this works and I've forgotten how this one works and shoots film as well. So I'm gonna have to have a little look tonight, I think, at something that's a little bit more intimate than my big vistas. That's my happy spot, but I think that's been a wee bit lazy in terms of uh, composition. So uh, tonight is a shoot on the beach, back to the camp, and we're going to spend overnight in a cave around a campfire, talking nonsense. And we'll probably have a morning shoot as well, so we'll crack into this. You'll see that the wind's really bad tonight. It's blowing sand everywhere. It's really horrendous, so this shelter is a welcome break from the elements. But. Um, I'll go and crack on, keep on looking. We've probably got about an hour and a half's worth of light left and I think the sun's gonna pop down round about here. Um, but it is 90% cloud, so the chances of getting anything glorious tonight I think is gonna be really slim. In fact, it's gonna be less than really slim, so I'll carry on and uh, let you carry on watching the rest of this video. <laughs> See you in a wee while. Now I'm leaving Rotorua in the middle of the North Island and heading towards Fatipu Beach, a four and a half hour drive to the remote west coast of the North Island. And this is probably one of the most remote beaches on the west coast past the Waitakere Ranges. And the last few k's here are accessed by car on a dusty track. And as you come down into the beach, you kind of feel like you're just dropping off the end of the world and you lose all contact with the outside world because time just seems to stand still on the west coast. You should take a video of this even. Like the street, what it says on the screen. It's a sad <laughs> face and it says, I can't be <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> Now this is Fatipu Beach, and I've been here before, you'll recognise this footage. This is probably my favourite beach on the west coast. Big hills, miles of dunes, and beautiful hills. Particularly nice on a nice day. But today, we've got this, and I forgot about equinox and the high winds. And I'm really struggling to keep the camera here still. So it's not going to be a conventional vlog in the normal sense. Now Scott came up fortunately the night before to check out our salubrious accommodation for the night but also take this b-roll footage off the beach in the black sand and you can see here why this is interesting. This is like a cartoon. The dark and the light sand, the ripples and the grasses growing. And it's still windy here the night before, but you can see the shifting sand on the left side here. 
particularly interesting because you can see the contrast quite clearly with the black sand and the white sand. And this is going to be really interesting to see how five guys shoot this differently as we interpret the scene different from one another. Bloody vlogging's hard work. <laughs> now as we're making our way into the wilderness here, we've got miles and miles of open beach in front of us. And even for those of us who haven't been here before, well there's always something to shoot, despite there maybe being nothing too obvious. And the safe money, well, it might have been on Scott as he was here the night prior. But it's important that we don't head off like sheep. We stick to our plan and we try and find what we can find for ourselves. Now this is Sanji. Sanji is a fine art photographer and a specialist printer. Normally shoots with Mamiya 67 and Hasselblad. But tonight, he's got the GFX 50 S. And this is Stephen. Stephen's a landscape photographer shooting with Mamiya 6, a film camera, 6x6 square crop. So this is Jay. Jay owns Photo Gear in Auckland. Jay's shooting with a GFX 100S, and because of six and a half stops image stabilisation, well, he's shooting handheld simply because he can. Now, this is a shot I took the last time I was here. And you'll maybe recognise this, but it's important for me not to gravitate to the same scene where I know the photographs work. Just as it's important to not just rely on the wide panels, but to see stuff differently. The net result being I've maybe found the only man-made thing in this whole Now this is Scott, he's a landscape photographer again shooting with Fujifilm GFX50 with the GFX50R. Really, really. And then, and then there's me, shooting with the Pentax 645Z. Oh, now what's interesting here is that because I'm not talking the camera normally, I'm able to spend more time looking at what I'm seeing but also watching the other guys to see how they walk around, see how they look at the landscape, and particularly with Stephen here shooting square format, watching to see how he sees the landscape through square viewfinder eyes. Now he's clearly finding something quite simple here, and that's what he's seeing through the viewfinder and the image you'll see at the end. It's always really good practice if you're with other photographers too to discuss your shots and see what you're seeing, explaining it to others to try and help them visualise what you saw. You learn a lot by that. So as the day draws to an end, we have to find all our gear and head back to the cave. And in the cave, it's going to be really important for us to have a chat about photography. And again, experientially, we can learn from one another just by having a chat. This is pretty cool and a great opportunity. A big milestone step for me mm. was moving away from the idea that a technical shot is the best shot. Mm. Yeah. You know, I think I'd rather, I'd rather put my camera into complete automatic and grab the shot that has the biggest impact on somebody else than fuss around with the dials and try and get it technically right and then miss the shot. Mm. 
Yeah. Street photography is really good for that. Yeah. Yeah. Urban street photography is really good because you don't have the time to mess around. Yeah. yeah doc documentary like when volcano when I was at the volcano in 2016. You just, you just didn't have time. Things were just happening. Yeah. You just you you know aperture priority. Set your eyes to a range. Shoot. <laughs> Pull the other way, like because you just develop longer. If you you would develop yourself. Yeah. So you expose it as a say a 400. You expose it as an 800, and then you, when you change and develop the times, that's how you can push it. Yeah. Right. Should have brought a faster lens. You need an SMS Mark III. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that won't sail. Yeah. <laughs> <We're still> <laughs> that thing is nuts. I eh? have half a million. I so yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Imagine the, such a low density yeah, of yeah. the pixel. Yeah. The low light performance is off the chart. Yeah. yeah. My, my, my Sigma can't even go past 200. It becomes shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 100 is good, 200 is okay. Yeah. After that, it's like too crazy. Well, that's pretty really common for like. How often do you guys like come out and shoot together? First time we've gone together. Yeah. 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 Only you and I have it. I've been with you once when you did a review yeah. on the Fuji. Yeah, that was on the GFX 100 that we did uh, review that we did, we did, we did that down at Auckland Walk. Mm. But yeah, not, not as often as we should probably, uh, Jay. Mm. Not as often as we should. It was more for the for the medium format aspect tonight. You know, us getting together. Because last year, it's quite funny, I was telling the guys before last year, um, we were going to do this, remember, we got called up because of COVID. Yeah. But I had a guy called Ian Colonna who said he's from Canada. He said, what are you doing? I'm going to stay in a cave overnight. I'll come for that. <laughs> Ian, we're in New Zealand. Yeah, yeah, I'll come over for that. It's for one night. Yeah, yeah. I'll come from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring a crew. A <laughs> crew? What? A phone crew. Well, just that, I think. Yeah. <laughs> just that's the way. That's incredible. That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. the end of this video and I hope it was okay it's great to be back doing more content with you and uh, I'm sorry it's been so long as so I apologize for it at the beginning of the video I've got some pretty cool stuff coming though I've gonna do a I'm gonna do a collaboration with Stephen comparing analog and digital and we'll shoot the same thing same location and compare the files I'm also wanting to try and do one that's shooting analog with your digital and that's gonna be a be a bit of fun to conceptualise and actually produce as well. I've also got three or four extra videos from the South Island, I think, which I shot best part of, oh gosh, nine months ago. So I've got to get my finger out and get cracking with it. So thanks for being with me. And until next time, um, you take care, you have fun, keep shooting. Stay well, stay safe, have a good week, and <laughs> I'll see you really soon. Until then, cheerio just now.